I'd love to know, like, during those years, what were some of your biggest lessons of building Netflix? I think what was reinforced over and over and over for me was that there's no such thing as a good idea. You know, everyone loves the epiphany that uh, they, you know, you get the two guys who can't make the rent and then instantly you've got Airbnb, but it doesn't work like that. That um, ideas are starting points, that they're almost, um, they're almost universally bad. It tra- uh, this morning I was taping a, a one episode of, of the podcast, speaking with an entrepreneur and he's had this idea and he's had it in his head for eight years. And he's never misses an opportunity to tell his friends his great idea. And they of course go, gosh, Ed, that's a great idea. But it, he's never collided that idea with reality. And it was kind of, I mean, I ha- you know, you have to deliver tough love sometime. And you're going for God's sake, I, I don't know if it is a good or, idea or a bad one, but you're never going to know that until you try it. And that's what I re- realized at the beginning. You know, when I said that, you know, at the beginning, Netflix didn't work. We tried so many things. And at the beginning, I was this perfectionist and we were, we had lots of ideas, but the tests would be intricate. They'd take three weeks to put together and then they'd fail. And you'd say, shit, I just wasted three weeks. And then you accelerate and accelerate and pretty soon you're doing multiple tests in a single day and they're sloppy and awful. And, but you realize that it doesn't make a difference because that three weeks of perfect custom photography and lovingly crafted copies not going to make the idea work. But if it is a good idea, then no matter how bad it is, the broken links, the misspellings, it still resonates. So the lesson to get to the point here was that it was never about having good ideas. It was about this system and this process and this culture that we created to test thousands of bad ideas. And I think that, that velocity is what really helped Netflix move so quickly. Um, And it also informs the culture because when you start off with the premise that every idea is a bad one, that you have no idea in advance if it's gonna work, it it democratizes the company because that great idea could come from any place, from anybody. It's not just that the CEO has to be the smartest guy in the room. You come in with this data-driven culture, which is not about I believe, but more about the data shows. And that's kind of the key. Anyway, that, that's, the, uh, that's, my, that's my long story about it's all, ideas suck. They don't count. So figure out how to test them. That's the, uh, that's the genius. Hey, Founder Fam. We hope that you loved that clip. If you did, you can click through right here to watch the full interview. You don't want to miss this one. See you there.